Hi and welcome to Blender Clinic. Today we're going to be talking about something a little bit different. We're going to be talking about an iPhone app. Uh, well, I believe an Android app also. And uh, and an add-on that they link to in Blender. So um, the app in question is Virtua Camera. Um, to my knowledge, this has just come out. I literally saw it today and went, I have to have this I really want to play with it. It was 4 dollars on the App Store, and I've got to admit, I'm really impressed. So uh, if I switch over to Blender, you can see uh, we've got the add-on already loaded in. Um, so I'm just going to click Start Thirding, and it gives us a QR code, which, mwah, genius. Um, I'm going to scan that with the app, and then it'll ask me if I want to pick a camera. I pick the camera. And... This is a scene I was working on last night. I've been animating this dragon for a short film. Um, and I'm just... Oh, that's... Uh, so this is the, the interface. And if you click right there... My aim was slightly off. Then suddenly we're seeing through the Blender camera. We can control the focal length. We can control the vertical. We can control the horizontal. Uh, we can. <laughs> Sorry, we've got um, smoothing of the camera motion smoothing, which will become apparent later. A bunch of other features. I won't go into it all um, because this is the sort of app you need to get your hands on and play with. Now, the real important bit is this link button there, and I'm going to actually turn the phone away, switch over to Blender, so you can see what happens when I click the link button. So it says initializing tracking system, um, move the camera to begin, and it gives me a tick, and there it is. So I'm moving my camera, uh, sorry, moving my phone, and it is moving the digital camera in our scene, the digital camera. That didn't make sense. <laughs> it's moving the, the, the camera in our scene. So we're getting real handheld motion here. And I can just click the record button Three, two, one, and oh, uh oh, my dragons come to life. Ah, and you can see, I'll just turn this off. Whoop. It's added keyframes to our camera. Um, no, it didn't animate the dragon, I did that last night. Um, <laughs> but it's, you can see now we've got this camera with handheld motion baked into it. Uh, beautiful, organic, looks great, took me. Well, you saw how long it took me. And the setup um, for this was literally install an app, uh, uh, download and install an add-on, which took, you know, it took a minute at best. And and it all just connected, provided you're on the same network. I did actually have to switch off my Ethernet on the computer to, to Wi-Fi so that I could do this. But how great is that? I mean, I've uh, used Vive Tracker's to do a really similar sort of thing and to do all sorts of experiments, in fact. Uh, but it took hours to set up, and it, uh, it was problematic in a variety of ways and very inconvenient. You know, I'd, I'd probably just go and download some handheld keyed uh, motion from the internet and, and try and pull that into it rather than make my own um, bespoke for, this, for the job. Um, but this, click, 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 we're there. I mean, I feel like even if this isn't an app that everyone needs, I think it's fair to say it's one where everyone's going to want to play with because it's so convenient. Almost everyone has a phone. Four ninety nine. It's a physical interface for Blender. It, it's it's one step closer to that that virtual world. And I know, I know, some of you are probably going. This is nothing special. Um, you know. VR exists in Blender, blah, 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 all of this, that and the other. But fuck you guys, because that's so convenient and so simple. And it's really just, it's great fun. It's one of those things that you can use it. You could use it with a, a visual effect shot to add camera motion in when you've got like, if you've got a, a locked off shot and you've got built a virtual scene and you put your footage into that scene, you could then add a little bit of organic camera motion. If you've got like, um, you know, you're doing a show, you're showing off, a 3D model that you've sculpted, having that instead of a, a you know, a turntable spin is such a more organic way to sort of go in and examine all the stuff. You know, 
it's just it's it's got a myriad of uses but most of all it's damn fun and it's easy so i hope you'll go and give it a try um yeah i'm gonna go and play with it some more so uh, excuse me and uh, i'll see you next time <laughs>